The longer we go into July, the more risk there will be in financial markets, the more concern there is that America cannot get its act together to figure out how to solve this problem. And you'll see that reflected in higher interest rates and more concern loss of confidence. At the heart of this debate, these numbers are debt. 14 trillion and counting, we have already surpassed the debt limit, but money has been moved around to make good on all of our obligations. U.S. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner says he will no longer be able to do so as of August 2nd. Many House Republicans have expressed skepticism about that deadline, saying our current revenue stream will allow us to make good on the debt obligations. It's all the other things in the budget that would be in question. Joining me now to talk more about the implications of these debt talks are financial advisor Lance Roberts and political consultant Mustafa Tumiz. Thank you so much for joining us to talk about this because I think everyone is wondering what is going on and if you can help us break it down it will make sure. it even better. Okay, so who has a stronger position? GOP who says no new taxes or Democrats going with it? No pain, no gain. Well, the problem is, is first of all, we have a very weak, a very weak economy. I mean, look at the recent unemployment numbers as of last Friday. You simply cannot raise taxes in this type of environment. We have very low economic growth. You have businesses who rate their number one biggest concern is poor sales, and they're also saying this is the worst time to expand. So when you start increasing taxes, you're hitting the very people that create the small businesses and the jobs. Ms. Hoffa? There are no winners and losers in this. I mean, this is just a losing game. We're going closer and closer to a debt ceiling, and we're talking about things that you know we can talk about at, at, a, at a different point but we've just created a political process that nothing gets done without a major crisis and something like the debt ceiling is the wrong thing to create in a crisis because it, it changes the perception of of the markets and I think, I think we'll no. talk about that no it's absolutely true and this one thing I actually wrote in our newsletter this weekend is saying that you know in my opinion this is the wrong fight mm -hmm. this is about money that we've already committed to spending raise the debt ceiling let's get this process put behind us let's put some stability back in the markets and let's start really arguing and fighting about the budget that we need to pass going forward. How much will the Tea Party element of the GOP help them make a deal here, do you think? I don't know. I think it's it's causing a lot of, you know, a lot of the arguments that are being put in here, and this is probably a better issue for mm -hmm. Mustafa, it's just that it's there's a, a lot of wrong ideas being thrown out at the same time. Well, what you've got is, uh, I mean, last night you saw Nancy Pelosi out, out, out with the president. She wasn't involved in the budget negotiation back in April. Uh, you're seeing, uh, you know, the, the Tea Party coalition that's, that's built in, in, in the House that's very active about the debt ceiling. So now you don't have a base from the left or the base from the right. Mm -hmm. And the president still needs enough votes in the House, both, the, both in, the, in the House as well as in the Senate, to pass this. And so you're making deals with people that aren't, looking to budge and if and if we can't get our act together if we can't get our political act together mm -hmm. we're risking not just the financial crisis in the United States but a global 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 crisis yeah. and Lance the market's not looking so great today I mean the no. Dow is down about hovering down about 150 right That's now right. we'll take a look at it right there and and is that affected because of what's going well, on with these talks today do you think well it's part as part of this discussion it's also part of the fact that Europe is back on the auction block again I mean Italy is on the verge of default and Greece and of course these are these are very distant problems that most Americans really can't identify with but these are major crisis problems that are issued out there you know think about what happened in 2008 last time we had a big financial crisis mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are, as opposed to Lehman, very much the same type of potential events. But we don't need this debt crisis problem on the top of it because it's something if we begin, to, as of August the 2nd, if we fail to start making interest payments, we're going to have serious ramifications back to the financial markets. And as opposed to what a lot of people talk about in terms of how much revenue we have coming in, mm -hmm. we have enough revenue coming in right now just to cover entitlements. That's it. No other spending. So far, the meetings have been deadlocked. No one's giving either way. What gives? The president's going to be talking today in just about 20 minutes and telling us what's going to happen with the new round of talks, but what gives? Who gives in this point? Well, it, it seems like the only thing that, that people are good at is doing press conferences. We, we, we keep mm -hmm. seeing folks come out and, and use the same talking points. We're getting closer together. We don't want people to be close. We want them to actually cut a deal. And in order to cut a deal, um, we're going to have to figure out a, a new way to approach this challenge. Mm -hmm. And one one you know productive way is to separate the raising of the debt ceiling from budget negotiations. Budget negotiations should happen by themselves. Mm -hmm. We should be you know we should continue to figure out how do we rein in our spending. We should continue to figure out if there is a, a, a revenue source that we should do. But this notion that this has to be done on this particular vote is a political 
uh, judgment. It's mm -hmm. not necessarily what, what, what really is, is what budget process is about. Lance, Absolutely. you mentioned the ramifications of the market and what would happen if they don't mm -hmm. reach a deal. What other ramifications are we talking about here? We've already seen what happened to Greece. It's a little overwhelming to think about them not being able to find a middle ground. Absolutely. Well, no, this is the thing. So if we fail to start making interest payments, immediately what happens is, is our cost of borrowing money. The, what This whole debt ceiling issue is simply the function of how much money can the, the government borrow to continue to fund its payments. So we have revenue stream that comes in from taxes, that's revenue, and then whatever we can't fund out of the revenue, we have to borrow money f to cover the balance. Mm -hmm. So if we, if we fail to meet this and start failing to make payments to the people that have loaned us money before, the interest rate to borrow is going to go significantly higher. Mm -hmm. That's going to raise the cost of borrowing for your houses, your credit cards, everything that you do in your lifestyle. That's going to be affected almost immediately from that impact. You're also going to devalue the dollar because people will lose confidence in the country itself as a credit reliability. So the dollar declines in value. That increases the import cost of everything you buy at home from oil prices to products made in China. So it impacts your real income of what you see at home. It declines. So if we think things are difficult right now, if there's not some, some middle ground, then we are all going to feel this very quickly, so, it absolutely. sounds like. Yeah. Do you think this is going to uh, come to an end and they're going to reach an agreement in the next few weeks? And it needs to be quickly. You know, um, we were sitting back in May talking about this, talking about, you know, whether this what will happen or not. And the consensus was this is so important that our, that our leaders are not going to let us down, that at the end they will cut a deal. Um, I'm not convinced of that anymore because it seems like a process is mm -hmm. broken. Mm -hmm. We're playing a game of chicken where, you know, which side is going to blink first. Mm -hmm. Well, if, you know, if some, if for some reason when we reach the magic date in three weeks, if our political figures don't get it together, if the bill isn't written properly, it could cause a mm -hmm. catastrophic problem. And, and I, um, I think that as Americans, we really need to get engaged in this rather than pushing for a particular side. Right. We should basically mm -hmm. ask for them to make a deal. Mustafa Tamiz, Lance Roberts, thank you so thank much you. for being here to talk to us about this. It's something that weighs on everyone's mind. As we mentioned, President Obama will give his take on the status of the debt negotiations during that news conference at the White House at 10 o'clock this morning. We will carry it for you right here on Fox 26 Live.